I need to get them all open so they can start getting acclimated to the weather and I eventually can get them planted and hopefully they won't suffer transplant shock when I do that. So I have my planting list of all of my jugs that I numbered. I planted over 140 jugs total uh, back in January and February and a lot of them have sprouted and the seedlings look great and healthy and I want to continue to open them and share it with you. So thank you for being here. Okay, these are all the ones left that I have to open. I just brought 14 jugs up to the table. That one was already, I had already taken the, the lid off, the cover off. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this efficiently. So in jugs one and two, I planted peach pits. And this is what came up. I'm afraid that tall thing is a weed, but there's another little sprout in there that looks like it could be a real plant. <laughs> and then another little green one. Oh, you might not be able to see it right in there. I don't think that that's peach seeds um, sprouting, but I'm just gonna let that grow and I'll see what it turns out to be. So the, the second jug, I'm not even gonna bother opening because there's literally nothing growing in there. That again had peach seeds, peach pits in it. It was just an experiment. I love experimenting with gardening. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. I can try again another time. Now, if nothing would have worked with 140 milk jugs, I would have been really downtrodden and not had the courage to continue on, I think. But I've had a lot of success and so I'm here for it. Okay, so jug number three. So here's my list, okay? Three, four, and five is Queen of the Prairie. And I should have brought my little seedling packets out. I can show you what they look like. Maybe I will. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, three, four, and five is Queen of the Prairie. This is a native prairie plant. Look at that gorgeous flower. So this is the third jug. It's got some little seedlings in it. I see two. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe the next one will have more. So here is, oh, three, four, and five. Is that what I said? Yeah. There's more. One, two, three. So, you know, I have read that native plant seeds sometimes are hard to start. And I think I'm finding that's true with some of these. But you know what? If I can get, I don't know, just a handful of plants to come up in certain varieties. And I shouldn't say varieties. There's no varieties of native plants. These are popping right off like the, the duct tape. The duct tape wasn't sticking anymore. So I have one, two, three, four. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, possibly 10. Okay. So native plants, I'm sure are at least $5 a pot. So, uh, you know, I have potentially just saved $50 by planting some seeds in a milk jug. Love that. Okay, six, seven, and eight is New Jersey tea. It is a little native shrub. It produces white flowers like that. Ah, oh, see, it just it wasn't even stuck. Okay, look, wow. Okay, I am really thrilled with that, with that result. Unreal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 sprouts in the first jug of New Jersey tea. Boy, I'm glad I decided to do this. They're all just like popping open. Shoot. Now this one has only three sprouts. <laughs> oh, no, there's another one coming up. There's another one. But they look good and healthy. They do need to get a little bit bigger. I'm not thrilled with the fact that these were not sealed. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, see? One, two, another three. I probably have 20 of these New Jersey, oh, there's four in there. 
<laughs> cardinal flower, nine, 10, and 11. Okay, so cardinal flower attracts hummingbirds. I'm so excited for this one. I hope I have some sprouts. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, nine, 10, and 11. The, these, I, I think I was, um, I don't know why the tape came off. I bet you when I pulled, when I picked it up, like another time, because I've been moving them around according to how the sun has been, um, it, it might have popped up, but. Wow, so, okay, that is a lot of seedlings. I can't even count them, there's so many. Look at there, cardinal flower. I'm gonna be able to plant a whole slew of them and have a good showing. I don't know if they flower in the first year. I hope they do, but sometimes uh, native flower plants don't flower in the first year. That's okay. I'm willing to wait it out. Look at that, how many? My goodness, there's like dozens. And the last one also was tucked down in there. They're so tiny though, wow. That is a lot of cardinal flower seedlings. I'm really excited about that. All right, so far so good. Uh, 12, 13, and 14 is Prairie Wild Rose. I bought my seeds, from, my native flower seeds from prairiemoon.com. It's a great uh, nursery up in Minnesota that is into prairie preservation and restoration. And their website's fabulous, it's very informative. So check them out. All right, Prairie Wild Rose, 12, 13, and 14. Wow, these are just like, oh, they're hardly even sticking anymore. Well, my goodness. I've got one thing sprouting in there. And I can't guarantee, although it doesn't look like a weed, it actually looks like something trying to sprout there. So it's got the first two leaves, see them under there? And then other leaves starting to form. I can't remember what all the seedlings are supposed to look like for each particular flower, but believe you me, I will look it up and see. Oh, this is going to be super easy because the duct, tape's not even, duct tape isn't even stuck anymore. Yeah, okay, so this seedling looks like the other one. I can't believe that's the only one, but I guess I have to believe it. This, this, this project's going to teach me um, acceptance. <laughs> okay. 14. Prairie wild. Right, I'll have to take the tape off this one. Why this one decided to stick and the others weren't, I don't know. Oh, shoot. There's none. That's okay, though. Let me see. Oh, I think... I think it looks like, I don't know if I can. So these first jugs, I used a really poor quality potting soil unbeknownst to me. And as it sat outside in the winter, and then I went and checked on it at one point, I noticed lots of wood chip pieces had risen to the top, which is really annoying because I feel like it's covered up spots where seedlings were trying to come out. So right down in there, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Uh, and I see other ones trying to come up. I think I'm gonna probably be leaving the cover stuck in. I'm gonna... Next is 22, 23, and 24, which is Joe Pie Weed. Now I have tried to grow Joe Pie Weed before and I have not been successful. So, We'll see. Well, <laughs> I 
I got one good one and then there's several right in there that are trying to come up. So we'll see. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't uh, be so disappointed right away. There's actually a lot of them trying to come up in there. Okay. 22, 23 is also Joe Kiwi. I never knew duct tape like almost rotted after a while. I read where people said that they could never get the duct tape off their jugs easily. Mine's just like peeling right off. Ah! Ah! Now that is gratifying. Again, there's lots of wood chips that have come to the top. Okay, I am gonna definitely have a good showing of Joe Pie Weed. Here's jug number. Uh, out of the three I planted with Joe Pie, this is the third one. Uh, okay, that makes me so happy because I've had Joe Pie Weed at another house that I lived at. And I loved it so much. I wish I would have brought little, a little, uh, I dug some up and brought it with me, but I didn't. And I've been trying to grow it ever since for the last few years. And uh, looks like I'm gonna finally get my wish. Okay, so those are successful. 25 and 26 is Jacob's Ladder. Let me see if I can find it. starting to get noisy out here so I may have to stop for a while oh it's a dud <laughs> okay I should just look in here yeah there's nothing in that one either so the Jacob's ladder did not take but who knows maybe it'll still come up jugs 27 28 and 29 are supposed to be wild geranium so these, I had done an experiment. I put a note in there and I just tucked the, uh, I couldn't get the duct tape to stick. I think it was a really bad quality of duct tape. And I uh, stuck the lids down in there because somebody on YouTube said that that was a good way to do it. I'm not sure that I like it, but I have one seedling. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. Okay. Wow, those look good. That's two of them. And again, this one has nothing in it. So that's okay. It looks like I have a total of three seedlings of wild geranium starting. And you know what? If I get three, I get three. It's better than nothing, right? I've gotten through half of the gallon milk jugs and got them opened. I showed you on the video, but I'm gonna have to stop here because this is taking me a little bit longer than I expected. As you saw in the video, some had seedlings and some didn't. Those were already opened and they're hardening off. So all of these I opened today and I'm really, really pleased with the results. Like that's a lot of plants going on here. Oops, can't see my face. <laughs> okay. See you next time.